Tanner Gray won the pole, takes the inside lane. Garage opened at 8.30 this morning. <laughs> it's been a long day, but it's worth the wait. Craftsman Truck Series racing at Charlotte. Off we go. Quarter, bumper, you're cleared, ramp at the bottom. What a nice push by the 11 of Corey Heim. Look up on the outside, though. Majeski got that run off too and is going to get on the outside of Hyman. That's the preferred lane when you're side beside. It's so hard to hold the bottom. How about Corey Heim? He said, I'm going to take the bottom with no traction compound and see if I can grab this lead. He had a strong move through the center of the corner, but Tanner's able to rally up top, get a big push from Ty Majeski and hold that lead. 42, Carson Hosovar outside of him, Zane Smith. Those two drivers combined for three wins this year as Corey Himes able to slide by and take the top spot from Tanner Gray. You know what it is, Adam. It's Heim time. <laughs> Indeed it is. <laughs> oh, near contact for second. That's Majeski sliding up. There is contact. What a save by the 98. That's what we talked about at the opening. So difficult to run that bottom lane, and Tom Majeski about had a night ending spin. Watch this. The truck on the bottom is just going to get loose. Bottoms out a little bit up the hill and then they get together and I'm not sure either one of them ever let off. They just battled all the way off that corner smoking the tires and Majeski nearly has to get away from it. Great save. Wow. Can he make the pass? Final time off of turn four. Back to the green white checkered flag to end Stage one, give it to the 11. Corey Heim delivers just in front of Carson Hosovar. For Heim, it's his fifth career stage win, and the fourth time he has delivered a playoff point via stage victory. Free pass went to Tyler Hill. We're rolling in stage two. Great start by Hosovar. Nice push by the 15 of Tanner Gray. Still on him, and look at Heim down on the... Oh, they're going to go three wide. Dean Thompson getting with it in the five. Here comes Stewart Freeze in 52. Let's just go three wide down the back straightaway. <laughs> Why not? What <laughs> bite. How much is Heim in that rearview mirror here, Michael? Well, the spotter is reporting to him every lap what's going on, but look where Carson's getting. He gets to the outside. He's going to make it work. He doesn't have to look in the mirror here. He can look out the passenger Door, side window. Quarter, because quarter, there he is. On, Carson Hosovar outside of Corey Heim. This is the battle for the lead halfway through stage two at Charlotte. And I love that Hosovar no, gave All him clear. room. All clear. He could have pulled down on his side, got him really loose, but he gave him room and made the pass anyway. Here we go. Final stage at Charlotte. Inside Heim. Outside Hosovar. Really good launch for Hersevar on that outside. Good push down on the bottom from Gray to Heim. Give the advantage to Corey Heim. Ben Rhodes down on the inside of Dean Thompson. Here comes Stuart Friesen with a push. This is tight, guys. Sanchez through the middle. You see Sanchez, the two underneath the 38 of Zane Smith. A night he might want to forget as we go back to the lead and the race is on. Heim has it, but Hosovar right Ooh. in his hip pocket. Oh. With a run inside, he's there. Heim hit that blue and white line and it got loose on him and Carson was right there to pounce. The 11 was dancing, wasn't he? And Carson said, forget about it. I'm driving to the inside, put to 42 back at the top of the scoreboard. Deegan diving to the inside of Purdy. Top. Big push from Zane Smith. There comes Zane to take it three wise. Carson Los Hosovar goes low on our leader. Ben Rhodes got the jump. Hosovar is there inside of him. Side by side for the lead. Three wide behind him. Restarts at Charlotte are electric. Zane Smith sideways. No. Can he hang on? No. Contact. Fourth caution of the night. Deegan got just a piece of that as she tried left to pull it down to the, the inside. Only, a lot of damage. A lot of damage to the left front of Zane's truck. They're going to go three wide. 
Hosovar looking to the inside. Eka says, I'll take that. Thank you very much. 19 looking good, trying to get out front for the first time. Ty Majeski back in the mix. Three wide for the lead. Are you kidding me? There goes Ben Rhodes. I think Hosovar was a little bit loose there, as was Eckes. Ben Rhodes said, okay, you guys stay down there and fight. I'm going on. This is some of the wildest racing you'll see in NASCAR. That's a Tricon train there, isn't it? Taylor Gray, look Dean how, Thompson, Corey Heim. Look how fast Corey is down on the bottom of the racetrack, really making a great move through the center of the corner. Now he's gonna have to fight the draft on the outside. The sense of urgency is there. 35 laps to go. Heim up to fourth as he clears his teammate, the rookie Taylor Gray. Boy, did you see Gray working the steering wheel there? Good Dean Thompson's gonna try to get to the outside. Three wide for a moment. Majeski made it three wide. Taking advantage, and here's the battle for the lead. Hosovar wants it back. Inside of Rhodes, 34 to go. Door, quarter. Still there. Quarter. Oh, you Bumper. see Ben Bumper. lost the nose there. Shot up the hill. Carson's able to go on. Here we go one more time. Some wheel spin on Hosovar's truck. Eckes, the push of Rhodes, 99 out front, 19 looking high. Three wide for third. Look at this. Ty Majeski is there in the 98. Now they're three wide for second. And look at that big run by Corey Heim up the outside. Heim had that pit stop, put him outside the top 10. Stay patient, and here he is third. And trying to get that second spot away from Eckes, looking up high. That's gonna work too, Adam. And look at Josevar down on the bottom behind these two, trying to gain back the position from Dean Thompson. Corey Heim wants to get by and get gone, get by Ben Rose, try to put some distance between he and Hosebar, because Hosebar is coming. It's not just a win at Charlotte. It's a win for $50,000 in round one of the Triple Truck Challenge presented by Craftsman. Look at that dive in there. That is so impressive. And that's a third place running truck, and he drove by him like it was nothing. Surprised too, look at Carson. He start, uh, stalled out, and here comes Dean to the bottom. 15 laps to go, this for third. Dean Thompson in the five, having a career night. Let's see if he can clear Hosovar. Oh, He's gonna move up. He does, barely gets him cleared. Let's see if Dean runs the top of the racetrack. He's been really good, especially down to three and four on the top of the race. Six laps to go, and keep this in mind. Rhodes, who has never, has not won this season, trying to get forward their first win ever at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Man, Dean is fast, he could just clear the number 11 of Corey Heim, he thinks he's got something for Ben Rhodes. Dean Thompson we're talking about. I think Corey's starting to fade a little bit, ca causing Dean Thompson to lose momentum. And here comes Carson to the bottom. Is it a two for one? Yeah, Hosovar said, I'll take advantage. He gets by Thompson side by side with Heim. This is the race for position number two on track with four remaining at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Good stuff. Great stuff. Just Corey. throwing it all out there. Carson's going to get that third spot. Struggles lately, but he can forget about it. The man that won the title two years ago, championship eligible again. Here he comes. Ben Rhodes, first win of the year, comes at Charlotte. Good flag. Good work right there, buddy. Hey, J Rod. Good work there, bud. That's a 44th win all-time for Thorsport as an organization. Good for third on the all-time list behind Kyle Busch Motorsports and Ralph.